You need more power, Jim. Don't be afraid. You had it all along. I never did it. I am not at fault. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Robin Williams bloopers. I know the seagulls. They're friends. Ah, it's mine! Oh, wow! Almost got the eel! For this list, we're looking at the finest examples of bloopers from the comedian's illustrious career. From film to television, Williams' stellar acting credits include many great outtakes of his unforgettable performances. Did we forget a notable Robin Williams blooper? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Trapped in the Floor – Jumanji Jumanji is able to capture much of Robin Williams' effervescence and childlike wonder. This extends to the film's blooper reel, which features many scenes of him letting out that bottled-up energy. Finding himself trapped in the floor, he and Bonnie Hunt pass the time making each other laugh. I'm Catholic. Oh, is that bad? No. Good in a bad way. Good bad, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm Protestant. Oh. Episcopal, that's Catholic light. Given his precarious position, it's amazing that the performer can be as quick while in an uncomfortable spot. Williams and Hunt crack jokes about religion and lighten the mood even as the sequence carries on with the two of them in close proximity. Do I have that effect on you? No, no. What? It's something else. What is it? Nothing. It's not Catholic, is it? The comedian even delivers a scream as a joke that makes his co-star break. Ah! What? I just felt I should do that. <laughs> Every step of the way, the lead finds a way to lighten up the set. Number 9. Playing with Dinosaurs – Mrs. Doubtfire In Mrs. Doubtfire, Robin Williams' character Daniel Hillard holds a tremendous talent as a voice actor, but finds himself working a behind-the-scenes job at a TV station. This blooper finds him walking onto the set of a children's show and letting his improv skills run wild. Allowing Williams to ramble with props, this particular outtake lets the actor do what he does best. Don't be afraid. He will eat anything that walks, but not vegetables, because vegetables are eaten by Angie the Apatosaur. Apat? Wow. He uses multiple takes to play with the dinosaurs on display, crafting spot-on impressions of people like Marlon Brando in the process. They had to have personalities to go along with their incredible huge bodies, you know what I'm saying? They must have had their own names, like... Tony Tyrannosaurus, hey yo! You get the feeling that he could easily go on forever talking about each and every different Jurassic creature. The actor even sneaks in a hilarious Elvis bit for good measure. Thank you very much, thank you very much. I'm the king. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. Viva Jurassic, thank you. Viva Jurassic, thank you very much. You finished with that stegosaurus? Thank you. Number 8. The Cow, Patch Adams. What happens when you put a cow together on screen with Robin Williams? You know, some people say chicken. Oh! Some people say fish. Oh! I say now is the time for cow! Yeah! In this clip from Patch Adams, viewers get to find out in a hilarious blooper. His cup of coffee becomes a point of interest for the animal, and the actor goes along with it. No, there's not any cream in here, I swear. I swear. What? No, there's not. Come on, there's no cream in here. See? As the cow chomps at his cup, the comedian cannot help but lose it. There's no way anybody can hold back a smile after seeing the likes of this brilliant star breaking into fits of laughter. Building off of the chaos of the moment, the entire sequence crumbles, and all for the better. Oh, damn! Come away with me, don't be afraid. With a tongue like that, we can make millions. It's a testament to the scene that it could render the normally verbose actor speechless. Number 7. Teddy Roosevelt and the Animals – Night at the Museum Robin Williams is the unlikely and surprisingly well-suited actor to play Teddy Roosevelt. Your job is to make sure that everyone stays inside the museum, because if the sun rises and anyone's on the outside, we turn to dust. Playing the reanimated president in Night at the Museum, the performer and his co-stars are at odds with a host of animal friends. One blooper has Roosevelt talking to Ben Stiller's caretaker, while the former's horse turns the background into a stable. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess or no. <laughs> we better go. The same problem happens when Williams has a capuchin monkey on his shoulders. Who loves you, baby? <laughs> I'm covered in <laughs> Talk about coverage. Stay.
Fully covered. Dang. Yeah, and, and a two shot too. In both cases, it is especially funny to watch him react to the furry friends relieving themselves. The comedian capitalizes on the moment in the way only he could. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. Come on, get that. That's, yeah. yeah. Big time acting. Whoa. Number six, the cadaver, Patch Adams. Despite the mixed reception of the final product, Patch Adams has more than a few entertaining bloopers to sift through. This one involves the lead character and his classmates preparing to inspect a cadaver. I'm here waiting, decomposing them. <laughs> Clear! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, just so unprofessional. Seizing the moment, Williams releases the tension of the scene with his own ad libs. He even uses the props as a punchline and gags that reduce the cast to tears. I'm waiting. <laughs> I feel it now that I love you. I know that there's a feeling in my heart. This includes commenting on an apparent fart machine that's been hidden on the set. Other actors in the film, including the drama legend Philip Seymour Hoffman, are reduced to giggles by the star. It's not your fault, man. <laughs> It's just air. Okay, we got it. Oh, God. <laughs> Number five, One Man Show, Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy was the show that properly introduced Robin Williams to the world. His alien character allowed for many zany comedy scenes, including this whirlwind achievement. One such blooper features Williams doing a one man show, doing the work of multiple actors in one moment. Look behind you! The entire monologue ramps up, with him changing voices that harken back to old movies and characters like the Lone Ranger. I know, oh, Kimasabe, something strange over there. I know, Tonto, 500 people tied up with dental floss. Tell me, Lone Ranger! His stunning performance could have easily tired any other performer, but this clip clearly shows he is at the top of his game from a young age. Wrong game. <laughs> Oh, whoops. By the end of his rant, his co-star looks back in astonishment and amusement. Number four, cracking up De Niro, Awakenings. Penny Marshall's Awakenings is a mostly dramatic work following Robin Williams' doctor as he helps patients with catatonia. He's lived for 30 years without the ability to release anger. As have the others. I happen to think his behavior is more natural than the others. Even with the more serious subject matter, he still finds time to break the ice on set. This clip shows a rare moment for Robert De Niro to start giggling. <laughs> that sounds expensive. Expensive, expensive. <laughs> it's go with it. It's an idea before it's time. Even for a more serious scene in the movie, the star sneaks his natural comedic charm into any situation given the opportunity. De Niro can't help but chuckle along as Williams goes off script with a completely different voice. I've wanted to talk like this for the entire movie. <laughs> I want to be an old Jewish doctor. It takes a special kind of performer to make the usually serious actor laugh, but the comedian rises to the occasion. Number three, bringing genie to life, Aladdin. Aladdin became a classic thanks to the work of Robin Williams and the subsequent work done by imaginative technicians. Hey! 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. Since the animators allowed him to improvise lines, this would lead to many of his ideas ending up on the cutting room floor. Those bloopers show his range, with an endless collection of voices and mannerisms. Champ, what do you think? I think the man has to float. He has to be able to come in there and go against the magic. Animators would try to capture his physical performance as the genie, making the final product feel even more expressive. These clips only serve to show the relentless work ethic that went into his creation of the beloved character. And then I say, can I, and then sometimes it gets a little blue, and then, but I'm a genie, so that's not bad. You know, we do the other way right now. Through his impersonations and quick thinking, Williams fills these outtakes with all the trademark humor that ended up in the finished movie. <laughs> Number two, Robin and Elmo, Sesame Street. Robin Williams could make even his appearances on children's television wholly entertaining. On an episode of Sesame Street, the actor came face to face with none other than the famous Elmo. There's lots of things you can do with this stick, Elmo. Hey, maybe you can be playing hockey with it, like 
Yeah, I've been a goalie now for about three years, and it hasn't affected me. He tells his little red friend about all the uses for a stick, never relenting with his endlessly speedy mind. Elmo doesn't even need to respond, as his scene partner lights up the screen with some great ad-libs that couldn't make the final show. It could be a king. Well, Nancy and I are just happy to be here. Or you can play Pinocchio, the home game. I have two Academy Awards, Elmo. This all culminates with the puppeteer messing up their lines, earning a well-timed comeback from the comedian. I'm gonna give it to you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Robbins. Mr. Robbins? <laughs> Taking the stick back, Elmo. <laughs> it's all in good fun, and reveals the amazingly free atmosphere of the Sesame Street set. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Making up the broadcasts – Good Morning Vietnam Playing the real-life DJ Adrian Cronauer, Robin Williams gets a chance to infuse the role with all the manic comedy he honed during his stand-up days. Good morning, Vietnam! Hey, this is not a test. This is rock and roll. Time to rock it from the Delta to the DMZ. This leads to several bloopers of Williams transforming into a fast-talking radio presenter. Performing the role he was always born to play, the comedian has every line sing as he makes absurd jokes about the Pope and even casts a celebrity Disney film. Also, Richard Nixon to play Pinocchio in a remake of the actual cartoon series. If that works well, Prince Charles is to play Dumbo and Dwight D. Eisenhower is to play Elmer Fudd. You get the feeling that in another life, he could have easily fit into Cronauer's position given his skill on the microphone. Any of these moments could have made it into the final cut, making them standouts in the star's career. Today the Pope celebrated the Latin Mass in Yiddish for the first time. Here's an actual broadcast. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.